Praise the Lord, friend. Thomas Manton IV, coming to you live with a, another message on the blessing of the Father. Uh, I love to do a series of messages when the Lord is in it. And I couldn't be live yesterday. I was doing some other things, but this is volume five. And in the scripture I'm in today, I'm in uh, 2 Chronicles 29 and 30. In 28, we see some headings here where Assyria refused to help Judah. And then apostasy and the death of Ahaz, he was a bad guy. And then Hezekiah came in, became king. He was only 25 years old. He was a young man. He reigned 29 years, so that's amazing. So he went to 54 years old. Well, yeah. In Jerusalem. Talked about his mother. His mother was Abijah. His daughter was Zechariah, daughter named Zechariah. Usually we see the man. And he did what, here's, here it is. He did what was right in the sight of the Lord, according to what his father David had done. So God saw that this guy was doing something good. And what he did was he caused an entire generation there to be... Uh, uh, cleansed and blessed by God. See, people writing me, they've been writing me all week, saying I, they don't have a father. Others have said before, and they're saying it again now, other different ones. I've been hearing this uh, quite extensively. There are very few fathers. Paul even said, you have many teachers, even if you have 10,000 instructors. They might have a gift to teach, or that's their career, even in the church, even in the ministry. But a father who loves people, a father who cares about people. And the Lord told me clearly to continue this. It's amazing to me. The blessing of the father. First off, I decree that you will be blessed and become the head and not the tail, above only and not beneath, as you hearken to the voice of the Lord your God. According to Deuteronomy 8 and Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 8, the whole chapter, verses 1 to 20, or however many there are, and uh, Deuteronomy 28, verses 1 to 13. Welcome all you that are coming on. Please do share this message. And I'll be gladly talk to you after the broadcast. I want to deliver this word here. I celebrate you for being with me. Please do share this. The Lord said to me a few moments ago, before I turned this thing on, <laughs> He said to me, uh, tell the people, those that are connected with you as sons and daughters... I will bless them in this season great in greater ways than they've known before, ever in their life. And then he said to pro he said also prophesy to people that are just coming on, coming in on board and getting to know you or listening. You're a son or daughter of God. You're not a son or, or daughter of mine spiritually in our tribe, but you can be. Uh, I don't say that lightly and flippantly. I want to, you know, there's commitment, there's relationship. A lot of people come, they go, yay, oh, look, bless God, oh, this is great. And then do they stay consistent and stay with it? That's a real son and a real daughter. More so than a person who's just receiving from the anointing. So there are two categories of people there. Three, really. Some that are deeply connected over a long time. They've shown their faithfulness. And they're really connected into this vine, into this anointing. And then there's ones that have come in. But they're in the process of getting there. Many are in that category. And then there's those who uh, are just listening. And you're welcome to listen and be a part of it. 
So I pronounce blessings over you as God's prophet. I pronounce, I pronounce that God will bless you in your business. He'll bless you in your life. He'll bless you financially. He'll bless you in relationships and connections. You'll see new things happening from this week. Uh, I, I, I tell you, people just, you, you, you can see how few fathers there are, how much, how much lack of interest there is in fatherhood, spiritually even, because Father's Day came and went. It was a Sunday. It's always a Sunday in June, isn't it? It's always one of the Sundays in June every year. It came and went. People went to eat, bought a gift, did whatever. But do people really care about fatherhood? This is ghetto terminology. Ain't nobody got time for that. You ever heard anybody say that? I laugh when I hear that. So a woman smoked too much crack and she, her voice is gone and she talked like that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Well, you better have time for that if you want to be blessed. I have apostles and mentors that I've been trekking with 20 and 30 years. I want to give away ancient of days secrets of how young Methuselah is or how young I am. But hey, been around a while and been doing a lot of things and connected and connected in the blessing. There's blessings that come by being connected, you know. You want to be faithful, not just to a pastor, but to a father, someone who is really a father to you. A lot of churches, a lot of ministries, a lot of maybe revival meetings, maybe that. But is the person your father? Do they care about you? They may have a lot of people and members, but do they really care about your success and well-being? I would hope so, but a lot of places, not really, maybe not enough. So the Lord has me emphasizing this, and I'll tell you, people that have been faithful to me and connected to me, they're getting rich. You can become very rich and very wealthy by connecting with the anointing. I heard a man of God say this a, decade, a couple of decades ago. I was amazed and I think people were shocked because he said, the anointing can make you rich. Now that's not the purpose of it. You need to be careful about that. But, but when you connect with the anointing, I was listening to a friend preach um, yesterday and it was so powerful and I was receiving all of it. But I, he said, there are people that are licensed and ordained by the organization that he was preaching for at the revival. He said, none of them have come to all the revival meetings that have been going on for uh, the last few weeks there. And it's like, the only, and people said, well, there's a lot of revival meetings, a lot of church. No, there isn't. Not now in the lockdown. It's like one of the only things that's going on and people don't even care. It shows you how much they want to get blessed. So when they're struggling, hello. I lose sleep. I mess up my schedule to watch that because I'm in a different time zone, way far away time zone. I mean, I don't want to tell you how many hours. So like when it's their time for the meeting, it's like almost morning my time, middle of the night. What am I doing watching that in the middle of the night? Because I'm getting blessed now. I don't look at everything. But God just has me turn on my tablet or whatever or my uh, TV feed from the, from the meeting and uh, on the big screen, and, and man, it's coming through. It happened yesterday. I receive every blessing, talking about property and real estate and all that. Oh, yeah. So my point is you need to be connected to the vine. You need to be connected to where things are flowing if you want to get blessed. Elijah, Elisha, served Elijah, and even the sons of the prophets, they called them in the school of the prophets, they were, maybe they had a word of knowledge that Elijah was going to leave, or maybe Elijah had said something about it. One of the two. And they were mocking Elisha. And then when he got the anointing on him, the kids mocked him. Go up, thou bald head. In other words, go, go follow your master again. Go up, go up. Go up where he is. You see, they were mocking him. And he cursed them in the name of the Lord under the anointing. Under the anointing. And two she-bears came, two woman-bears, <laughs> came out and ate them alive. 
tore them up. It's that scary. I mean, if you think if that was in the the a public forum today, who what would people think? This pastor cursed kids, and the bears came out and ate them all, chewed them up, mauled them, and slaughtered them, and ate them. That's bad. But those sons of the prophets couldn't do that. And those kids that were mocking him couldn't do anything. They couldn't even protect themselves. So Elisha, Elisha told the, the sons of the prophets, the school, guys in the school of the prophets who were trying to flow in the prophetic and all, they told him, shut up. I'm with my master, not you. And I'm getting the anointing. And, and he asked him for a double portion and he got it. But he was close. So the closeness that you uh, are, 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 are in to an anointing is what will determine what's coming. Are you just there to go to church? Or are you there to receive from heaven? I don't have any time to go to all these meetings and do all this stuff and be in all these programs just to be there. I'm, I'm thirsty and hungry spiritually. I don't want to say greedy. That's probably not the right word. But I mean, I want the results. You understand? Oh, it's available to everyone. You can have it too. So Hezekiah came in. He was good. Second Chronicles 29. And then he cleansed the temple. Did a lot of stuff there. You can read this. It's very good. Further in the chapter, 20, 20th verse, Hezekiah restored the temple worship. He got things flowing again. And people came in. Now guess what? They're going to get blessed. Thir chapter 30, he keeps the Passover. And then he, he made some reforms. The reforms of Hezekiah. Second Chronicles 31. And then another fool came and boast against the Lord. Judgment hit him. You know what happened there. Wasn't good. Hezekiah humbles himself. In 2 Chronicles 32. 2 Chronicles chapter 32. Then it says here, wealth and honor. 2 Chronicles 32. Verse 27, I think it is. Wealth and honor came. That's how wealth comes, is by honor. This is what I'm talking about. Honor a father, honor the anointing, you'll get blessed. Wealth and honor comes to those who flow well. And connect well. Father, I just declare right now in the mighty name of Jesus that you're going to cause favor, unprecedented favor to come to those that show honor. You show honor in many ways. You receive the touch. You have respect. You sow into. You serve. You sow. You, you flow. You learn and you grow. You reach. And then... The thing that's being taught or the teach teacher flowing will cause you to be blessed. God is serious about this. Wow. Father, I release the grace. You know, the Lord is always merciful. He's always releasing the fire. He's always uh, sending it forth and releasing it forth. But are we receiving and that's always up to you. You think God's going to come down off his throne and just make everything happen for you? No, you have to be hungry and thirsty. You have to pray. You have to prophesy. You have to declare. You have to work. You have to sow. You have to serve. You have to be zealous. You have to move in the things of God. And then all these things will come to you. Wealth comes by honor. When you show honor, favor is released. And favor produces prosperity. The things you want, especially in this down economy, you know, with the thing that just happened in the world, to shut all the business life down, the thing you, you really want and need can't always come so fast naturally. You have to catch it supernaturally. And I want to prophesy the Lord. I think I'm going to still continue in this. My Lord, maybe I'll go to Sunday. I don't know how many days I'm going to go on this. I don't feel, I was just thinking, when is going to be the last thing? The other day, uh, two days ago, I did volume four. Now, today's volume five. 
I couldn't be on live yesterday, so I put one of my great messages of power of the spoken word on that we did in the studio with a pastor friend. And uh, the Lord is continuing this. He's going to continue. The, the, the flow is coming. I want to share more things about fathers, spiritual fathers, the fatherhood of God, the fatherhood of a man to release it upon connected people. And I want to prophesy and tell you, I want to warn you. I want to threaten you. <laughs> I want to tell you this admonition, and it's a good one. But, you know, that sounds like negative words. No, I want to tell you, watch out, because a, a, a wave of glory is coming to those that are honorable. That show honor, that do honorable things, that are favorable to the anointing. It's not in vain. Whenever you serve and serve God and help a servant of God and sow into the ministry and connect, God may see your tears. He sees your sacrifice. He sees you're tired and you're faithful and you're staying with it. He sees when you give money and you're like, wow, I'm giving and I feel it. And the Lord says, do you think that's all for nothing? You're showing honor. And guess what? I'm going to come back and honor you. The connection with a spiritual leader and a spiritual father and the anointing. Which is really on a platform to be received by everybody. But it's up to you if you want to get hungry and thirsty enough to catch it. So say with me, Lord, I want it. I want it. I want it. There's some things I see a veil in front of me in the spirit that I got to continue in another uh, por uh, portions of this message. Uh, hopefully tomorrow and the next day. And uh, beyond if I keep going in it. Uh, so there's certain things I want to access that I thought about, but the Lord is keeping them from me. So I'll just wrap this here and I'm going to continue in this flow. This is a revival moving of the blessing of the Lord that makes rich through spiritual connection with an anointing, with a spiritual father, with a spiritual leader, with a leader that God's ordained and made him a father to many people in the world like myself. Father, I thank you for our spiritual sons and daughters. And then, of course, the other category of people, your sons and daughters that are just coming to connect and listen. And they're welcome into this family. Welcome into this online tribe. It is an online thing now. Lord have mercy. I can't wait till we start having a lot of live meetings again, but... This is good for the moment. It's good. It's all good. It's great just to be able to speak to people, to bless them from whatever venue or media or conduit of the word coming forth. But thank you, Lord, for this online revival. You're building a tribe. You don't know, those of you that are listening, how many people are writing me, connecting, sending seeds, connecting, planting, sowing, Receiving prayer, writing me their prayer requests, as I've said, you can do that. You can become a partner. Let me say this to all of our partners, all of you that have sown. I know you're waiting for the book. I have somebody helping me on that now because I'm just so busy. Somebody's helping me. So say, thank God. I thank God. Thank God with me. You can either have the benefits of excellence and the laws of success that I may just surprise uh, some people that have really sown, and I want to send these gifts to you by ebook, by an e copy, even by WhatsApp. If you send me a WhatsApp to remind me, or I have you in my records that you've sown seed, you're getting these, and they're coming. Uh, some people have been waiting this week. I, I'm, they're going to be coming out to you. So know that you're going to have them in Jesus' name. So, Father, I thank you for the other books that you're having me write. Many, many, many dozens of books I'm working on. Many. And they're going to come out like that. Thank you for our organization, our structure, our dream team. If you feel a part to help us in graphics, web, dev uh, web page design, uh, uh, book editing. We need a lot of editors, uh, media people to film and to edit creative things. You can contact me. Uh, and also in the realms of administration, uh, etc., you can contact me um, and just send me a note here on Messenger and uh, or by WhatsApp to our number. The information will be on the screen. 
in the heading and also in the comments on how you can sow. Sow your best gift. Plant something. And the ways to sow are there in Jesus' name. The blessing of the Father that makes one well-favored and even wealthy and even successful in all they're doing. I release it unto you, my friend, in Jesus' name. I'm Thomas Mantha the Fourth. We'll see you again here on the next broadcast. Love you much. I'm praying for you. And also in the words of our great uh, predecessor, the prophet Isaiah, the great prophet Isaiah in 48, 17, when he said, I am the Lord, your God, the Lord said through him to us, I am the Lord, your God, who will teach you to profit through the prophet. You know, the prophet will bring you into profit. Yes, P-R-O-P-H-E-T. To bring you into P-R-O-F-I-T, you need the prophetic anointing and glory and grace. That's the connection I'm talking about here, the, to, the, to connect to get blessed. You, you say, why do I connect? Because you, go, you want to get blessed. And you will. And I declare that you will. And Jesus said, I prophesy over you that you're getting blessed. In Jesus' name. All of this is, has, has a benefit and a reward. And thank you, Lord, for the tangible touch. God, I feel the anointing here. Father, release the fire and the grace right now in Jesus' name. There it is upon you. Receive the touch of heaven. Some of you are going to feel fire, numbness, a, a peace, a coolness, a wind of the Spirit blowing. Something's touching you. It's the Holy Spirit touching you. And on the replay of this, this is tangible. It'll still come forth. And the Lord will begin, begin to cause just something new to happen for you. In this moment of time that hasn't happened before. Success in your business. Success in your life. Breakthrough. People will be good to you. Things you've been waiting for. You've been tossed with tempest and not comforted. Mourning and afflicted, the scripture said. But I, the Lord, will raise you now. And give you my peace and also my blessings. And also tangible answers to the things you need and want. In Jesus' name. So the prophet leading you into prophet, as Isaiah said in 48, 17, and the Lord leading you now in the way you should go. You need to be led by God. You need to get into the perfect will of God with all of your doing. And he said, get wisdom, Solomon said, Proverbs 4. Get wisdom and with it get understanding. Understand things about your life and what God wants you to be doing. And I release the blessing on you uh, uh, prophetically for direction. And perfect brilliance and creative ideas and thoughts on what to do, how to do. And I prophesy that God will raise up people to help you in every endeavor that you want to embark upon. And they will be successful because you're connected to this grace right here in Jesus' name. I'm Thomas Smith of the Fourth. I love you. That's the decree. And I will see you on the next broadcast. Love you very much in Jesus' name. Make this a great day. In Jesus' name.